Hello everyone! So we are going to talk about Autogen and how we can install this and also using large language model locally. It's going to be running everything locally in PC. Here's an image showing the chat dev, a very popular AI agent project that are using multiple role of AI agents, act as employees and then the CEO. And all of these are AI agents to build up a team act as a real company to create games. And this is what we are going to do, similar thing like this, using Autogen Studio. Now Autogen, they are able to generate image, text, and even coding. And here another similar concept that we can do using multi-AI agents. There's Agent A Designer, Agent B Programmer, and Agent C The Tester. But right now, we are going to install the Autogen and creating one simple workflow using one AI agent just for demo purpose. First of all, in here, Autogen documentation, they show that using a Docker to install and then pipe install Autogen command prompts and pretty much very basic, very simple process to install everything. And also they are supporting chat GTP which they have open AI API key in the configuration sections allow you to set your own private open AI API key in here. But then we are not going to use that in this tutorial rather than that we are going to install large language model in our local machine. So therefore we are going to use other large language model installed from hugging face or any other places. So in here, I am using another way. Instead of using Docker, I'm using Coda. And Coda is also creating a virtual environment in your local machine, allow you to create different dependency for different projects without messing around with all the Python code in your system. So first of all, I have create a codec and create Autogen. So this name are gonna dedicate for our virtual machine that is dedicated for running Autogen Studios. So in here, after I have this command, and the prompt will ask proceed and I will click Y and confirm. Then once we confirm, it will create the virtual environment from Conda. And this is the command prompt that we are going to use. And that is the Conda activate Autogen. Now this command are going to use when we boot up the Autogen Studio. And also the first time of installing Autogen Studio. And then Conda deactivate is the command for shutting down all the virtual environment in this machine. So as you can see in here, conda activate autogen. You see the next command from the bracket is autogen instead of the base bracket. So here we have to indicate that we are in the virtual environment of autogen server. And then the next step we are going to do is the pipe install autogen studio and it will start to running all the installation dependency. All the files got to be downloaded in your local machine. And then the next step is, of course, we start the Autogen Studio in our web browser. To kickstart that, we will just type this command prompt and the port 8080 port that I'm going to use for Autogen Studio Web UI. And once you see this HTTP link, this is the local host link with the port number. Then you can copy and paste this one and run it in your web browser. So once we are opening up our web browser and then we have access to this link, you will see this dashboard of the Autogen Studio. Now the one that I'm using is empty right now. It's fresh install. And so we are going to play around with this without any AI models. And then we are going to install local AI models locally in this machine. But first let's go tour around this Autogen Studio. What we can do, what the Autogen Studio are capable of. So first we go to build and then click underneath. Here we got a sub manual the workflow. Click the workflow tab and you can see there's predefined workflow from the system here. Let's see this one, the general agent workflow. And this is just for like a general purpose task and the standard user proxy. That means us, the user that is running and operating this system. And then also the primary assistant, that is the one that we create the agents. Now the agents are going to be used based on our large language model. So let's go to the skills. Next one in here, the skills is some predefined skills. As you can see, generate image, find papers in archives and fetch profile. 
and these three are pre-installed in Autogen Studio, and there's some coding, Python coding for all the skills. And you can create a new skills based on that and then import the skills on here. So this skills is actually like online game when you create characters and the characters are able to acquire some new skills to complete certain tasks in the game missions and stuff like that. That is very similar concept in AI agents. Now the AI agents we have once we create and then we can assign different skills like this one. This is for OpenAI, creating an image based on text to image. And with this, we can call the doll E3 API and generate image for us. And here we can see the fine paper from archives. This is for research purpose people that want to find research paper. You are able to use these predefined skills to find research paper in archives. And there's a lot of parameters. All the settings in here is all typing in the Python syntax. So if you know how to use that, then that is good. Then if you don't know, you can still do that with AI. So how can we create new skills? Well, first of all, we can go to this new skill button and then we can type the name of the skills and then you can copy and paste the Python code in this text box and press OK to save that. So for example, if I want to do like generate image in comfy ui and maybe later on i can do that and then you can type the python code calling the api of comfy ui system and get a url generate image pass back to the autogen and here we have the agents now this is like the online games character that we are going to create so user proxy that means that the guy or the uh, users that is using the autogen studio that means us that we are going to interact with other ai agents and executing code and etc and then primary assistant that is going to be the ai agents that we going to use in this demo so i am hosting a local large language model locally in my machine using lm studio this is the most easiest one to run now you can open this LM Studio, download any large language model in here you prefer. In here, I have used Maestro 7B. So once you load up the models, as you can see in here, it's a local inference server. We can just click this start server button and wait for the loading. You will have the message lock in here as you can see it. So once we have starting the server in LM Studio, enable to call API from here. Then we can start again the Autogen Studio. So again, Autogen Studio, we go to command prompt, we type Coda, activate Autogen so that we have access to the virtual environment of the Autogen project. The next step we are going to do is we get start the Autogen Studio UI, right? So we click the Autogen Studio UI and the port number 8081. Then we hit enter and wait for starting of the Autogen Studio. Once we have the URL again, we will access this URL in our web browser. So as you can see, there's loading in here, some log because I have started the web browsers already in here. And you can see right here, I have test some previous history already with my AI models act as my AI agents. So let's delete clean up this one and let's start a new one again. So in agents here, what we have to do to define this is that we can click the add button. We have to connect our models um, configurations to connect our API server. So in this case, my API is the LM Studio Loading Mistral. So we have the local URL, put it in here, the password, just copy the one from LM Studio not needed. So everything just copy and paste, from here into this model configurations and then you press save and there you go you will have your configurations connect with your local large language model then the next step are going to do is we are going to test our workflow so i have created one workflow is another one at general chat we are not going to use GPT-4. Instead, I have one in here, the general agent workflow with uh, Mistral. So clicking this one and you can see the primary assistant I have set up as Mistral AI agents. 
I mean Mistral as the large language model for my AI agents here. So once we have confirmed everything set, we can use this workflow to try it out with you guys. So go to playground for executing any chat and execute any workflow. So select this one, general agent workflow with Mistral. So when you see this one, it's very similar chat GDP, but then it got something different that you can automate different AI agents in here, assign their skills, their tasks to complete certain tasks, and they will show all the chat lot in here for you to see as a reference. So as you can see, I have type start asking the AI agents to do things for me. So I asked him to give me a research title for AI models. And then we flip over to LM Studio backend. You see the API server in here, start running. There is some data showing in here and that means we are successfully connected the Autogen Studio with our large language model API server. And going back to the command prompt, we see the large language model is still running. The Autogen Studio are still loading in here. And then we see the result, right? The output of the AI agent's research. So from the AI agent's message, we saw this. The reply from it is here's the result. To help generate a research title related to AI model, I suggest focus on specific area interest within the field. So based on his knowledge, the AI knowledge, getting the context from my large language model, and then showing the things, the reply of this research titles to me. So this is how a basic workflow that is to communicate with different AI agents and the AI agents are based on different large language models. So there you have it. Although this is a very simple workflow, but you can imagine that you can put multiple workflow on here to work on different stuff, different tasks to complete for you. So this is it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys have inspired how to use Autogen Studio to create customized agents for your work. So I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. Bye.